Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Hopak here for a homework help video on lesson 3.1 slope. So let's jump uh, right into this. I'm going to start with number one. Uh, so number one, sitting here looking at number one, um, the first step is what we're going to do is we're going to find the leftmost point. Okay, our leftmost point is right there, and we are going to do the change, the vertical change over the horizontal change, or we call it the change in y over the change in x. So your very first thing to do. Here, start at the leftmost point, and I'm going to go up or down first because my change in vertical is on the top. So I'm going to go, looks like I need to go down one. So down one would be negative one vertical change. And then I'm going to go right one, okay, which would be positive one. Therefore, my final slope would be negative one for this graph. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's go to number three. If you're looking at number three, first step, I want to do find the slope, which is the change in y over the change in x. Okay, so start your leftmost point. Start here. I'm going to go down one, two, three, four. So negative four is my vertical change, and my horizontal change is one, two, three, four, five. Negative four over five. I ask myself, can I simplify this? I cannot, so my final answer is just negative 4 over 5. Okay, negative 4 over 5 or negative 4 fifths. Going down here to number 7, okay, this is where we begin to find slope from coordinate pairs. Your very first step in this is to write out your formula. My formula is slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x which is the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. From there, I label my coordinates. x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. And I do this with every single problem. Now, I set up my next line. I write my subtraction sign so I don't get my subtractions and negatives confused. And then I fill in. y2 is 4. So I put a 4 where y2 is y1 is negative 20, so I put a negative 20 here. x2 is 18, and x1 is 16. Okay. From there, I'm going to um, change these two subtractions to a positive, because two uh, subtractions is a positive. 4 plus 20 is 24, over 18 minus 16 is 2. Okay. And then from there, um, you are going to just simply have 24 over 2, which is 12. So my final answer for this is 12, or you could say m equals 12 for m being the slope. Okay. Going to the back side, um, let's look at one more of those. Let's look at number 11. So number 11, first step, we got um, m is the change in y over the change in x, which is the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. From there, we say x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2, which would then, therefore, be uh, substituted in. Draw your line out with your subtraction sign so you don't get confused with the negative. And then y, 2 is 10, so I say 10. And most of you will see the shortcut. You just do this minus this and this minus this. So 10 minus 4 and negative 4, which is x, 2 minus 4. So here we go. 10 minus 4 is 6 over negative 4 minus 4. That is not 0. Because if I have negative $4 in my lunch account and then I spend and then I spend $4 the next day, I now have negative 8. Okay? That can be simplified. So you put 2, two will go into both of them. 2 will go into 6 3 times and it will go into 8 4 times. And then my whole thing is negative. So my final answer is negative 3 fourths. Looking at number 13, you just got to find the slope of each line. Well, with the equation, it's always going to be the number, always going to be the number to the left of x. Because remember the equation, y equals mx, m is your slope. So, my slope here is m equals 2 thirds. Going down here to the tables, this should be pretty simple. Only thing I do is you got to pick two points from the table. I'm going to pick the first two. Could pick the bottom two. Could pick the top and the bottom. Totally up to you. I write out my equation. M equals the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to write those out. Negative 2 comma 3 and negative 1 comma 5. I say xy, xy, 1, 1, 2, 2. 
just kind of getting it set up there. You can pause the video, kind of slow it down. I know I'm kind of going fast due to my time. From there, we are going to substitute everything in. So we got five minus three when you draw your, you know, your line out with the negative bars, and then we got negative one minus negative two. Well, five minus three is two, and one plus the opposite change subtraction to add the opposite. Negative one moved to the right two times would lead us to one. My final answer here is m equals two. The slope of that table is two. Hey, I hope this helps this homework help video. Uh, if you need, if you have any questions, feel free. You can email me uh, or talk to me first thing, me or Miss Parsons first thing in the morning. Thank you so much, and have a good evening.